everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we're going to do a painting on a 12 by 12 canvas. We're going to try something different and new and I have no idea what it's going to turn out like. I just got this thing and I thought maybe I could pour on it or use it as a tool. So I'm going to show you it real fast but then I'm going to get my cup ready here and um, we'll get started. But it's this like bubble wrap thingy it came in the mail like there was a package in it to keep it secure but it's got like all these like ribbed lines on it so i thought like maybe if i poured on it it would like make a cool design so like i said I've, it could be a complete disaster we're gonna find out together um so i'm gonna get our cup poured and then we'll be back to to start on this so here we go All right, so we've got our paint cup poured and I went ahead and covered this with a thin layer of green. Well, it's less thin than I wanted it to be, but it's a layer. Uh, that's just to help the paint move. I've just kind of learned I like it better when I have a base coat down. And for the most part, I don't think the base coat color really matters. That green is in the cup. So if it comes through, it's not like it's gonna be completely contrary to the colors that we have going. You probably noticed it was a hot mess of colors. We had light purple, orange, dark purple, that really cool navy blue color I mixed, silver, a dark purple, a light blue, a neon yellow, that green. That's because this little draft still has not mixed paint. So we're on the last of everything. I just happened to find that green. I was really excited. I was like, oh yeah, a full bottle of something. Um, so yeah, so, oops, sorry guys. So I'm going to see how I want to do this. I think I'm going to tuck this in and I don't know what I'm doing. Just so you know, <laughs> if you're like, oh no, you're, that's not what you should do. I don't know what I should do. <laughs> so we're just going to get started. Um, I don't like that. There was a chunk in there, so. So I'm thinking I'm just going to start here and pour it off and hope that it lands here and then just slowly move this and let it run off. Theory. Theoretically, that should maybe make a design. I'm going to try to move all this other stuff out of the way. So yeah, so pour it here. It'll drip here and then just kind of let it go. And then we'll just have to tilt it to get the rest of the canvas covered. I made this cup extra full because I didn't know how much I'm going to need and like how well I'm going to like what's going to happen. So yeah, I think I like the first time to get started. And if we don't like what's happening, we will change it up. So far it's unique, it's not terrible, it's a little bit of a, hmm. not too muddy, not too muddy, I think we're just going to come back and do it again on both the top and the bottom. Oh gosh, all that orange and purple is coming through. 
probably just on the top and then we'll have to tilt the bottom. And tilt some on the top too. Complete experiment here, guys. Okay. I actually don't hate it. Sometimes they pour it and before you even really do anything with it, you're like, yeah, I don't like it. So I'm not there yet. I do like this section a lot with these purples. The orange I was scared about, but it's not bad. So now we will start the tilt. I'm going to start in this section because there is a lot of paint and I do like that blue on I think your guys's uh, left hand side maybe we may lose our purple okay let's run it back this way because there's still a lot of paint on here. And we may lose that orange, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's an orange I mixed up, oh goodness, forever ago. Like, yeah, maybe a year or more ago. Maybe not quite a year ago, because I do think it is um, Artist Loft. And I didn't always use Artist Loft. But it was just on my first round of buying Artist Loft paint. And I didn't actually like the orange, but I don't waste it. So I just try to use it where I can. I think this looks very earthy. Like, I like it. I'm take my gloves off. Make a mess while I'm at it. And yeah. I think I like it. Well, let's torch it again. I guess with this messy torch. a lot of green in here and the only green we used was this green and that's not the color <laughs> that it is it's like it's very I don't know I like it I like it a lot let me bring in for close up here we are for the close up start on this blue side let's see if I can get it focused here yeah so blues and some oranges and purple and that light green working our way up to the top of the left side I like that section a lot lots of little cells and just random like not even lacing just random lines through it that's really cool cells across the top we get some cool purples and it's hard to tell if that's the light green or if that's the neon yellow I would estimate light green this section, it looks really muddy on yours. Can't really tell in real life either. It's kind of dark in here. I will definitely say it's prettier in real life than what yours. There we go. Like the zoom in colors don't really give it much. And then this is my favorite section right here. With that, I think it's the it's hard to say neon yellow or the light green, but then that purple just gives it depth, like the light and the dark. It's like walking into something or another, like a cave or a tunnel or something. I don't know. I really like that section. We will zoom out for our final shot. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and do what makes you happy.